Hey guys, welcome to our channel Stock My Closet. Today I'm sharing trendy short kurti. You can pair it with blazo, any type of salwar, denim or leggings. It looks so stylish. So, let's get started. This is the measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. I have taken 2 meter of south cotton fabric. To cut the kurti, I have folded the fabric first in width and then in length. I have only taken required width according to the bottom of the kurti instead of whole width of the fabric. I'll explain this while marking the measurements. I have trimmed the uneven fabric on the top. Now for shoulder, take half of shoulder width. In my measurement, shoulder width is 13.5 inch, so half of it would be 6.75 inch. Neck width is 3 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope, and join it to the neck width point. From this point, mark half of armhole round. which is 7 inch for my measurement i'll just extend this point from the top mark a point at 10.5 inch 14 inch and 21 inch i got queries related to these vertical measurements these measurements vary depending on the height of a person and not on the size i already have a detailed video on the same you can check out the link in the description box from this point mark 1 inch inwards and again join it to the shoulder slope point now i'll mark the round measurements for bust i'm adding 2 inch of ease in my measurement bust is 31 inch So thirty one plus two is thirty three, and dividing it by four, I'll get eight point two five inch. For chest, I'm adding three inch of ease. In my measurement, chest is thirty two inch. So thirty two plus three is thirty five, and dividing it by four, I'll get eight point seven five inch. For waist, I'm adding four inch of ease. In my measurement, waist is twenty seven inch. So twenty seven plus four is thirty one, and dividing it by four, I'll get seven point seven five inch. For hip, I'm adding five inch of ease. In my measurement, hip round is thirty seven inch. Thirty seven plus five is forty two, and dividing it by four, I'll get ten point five inch. For bottom, I'm adding two inch to hip measurement. That is ten point five inch. So ten point five plus two is twelve point five inch, and one inch for seam allowance. So while folding the fabric, I have taken this measurement thirteen point five inch. You can save fabric for sleeves or for some other project, especially if you're making for small size or for kids. Now I'll draw armhole curve. So marking is complete and now I'll cut it. I'll use this leftover fabric to cut sleeves. Fold the fabric. This is again double layer of fabric. I'll be using basic sleeve pattern to cut the sleeves. Click the link in the description box to watch basic sleeve pattern video. 
So cutting off kurti is completed. Now I'll stitch it. So my sister has done this beautiful block printing on the front and the sleeves of the kurti. You can check out detailed video on our channel Trims and Tassels. Link is in the description box. Firstly, I'll finish the necklines. I'm making round shape for both front and back. Neck width is 3 inch and depth is 7 inch adding half inch for seam allowance. Again mark neck width point. Join these points and draw desired neckline shape. I'm making round shape. Similarly, I'll cut the back neckline. I'll finish neckline with black piping and for that I've taken this black bias tape. I'm skipping this part. You can check out my recent videos on piping with and without cord. Link is in the description box. I'll stitch shoulder slope on both sides and then I'll finish the neckline. Overlock it. I have finished the neckline. Now I will attach the sleeves. Match both front and back armholes right sides together and make a stitch from shoulder to one end and repeat the same on the other side. Similarly, I'll attach other sleeve. Now I'll attach piping on the bottom of the sleeve. Fold the bias tape and place it on the sleeve and make a stitch. Like this. I'm using contrast thread so that you can see it properly. Now fold it towards wrong side depending on how thick or thin you want bias tape to show on the right side. Now I'll make a stitch on the edge. Fold seam allowance inwards and make a stitch to secure it.
Similarly, I'll attach piping on the other sleeve. Now make a side fitting seam starting from the sleeve round to the slit starting point. I have stitched both sides. Now I'll finish bottom. Double fold the fabric and make a stitch. Lastly, I'll finish the slits. So my kurti is completed and this is how it looks. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.